Hello and welcome to this new Lexit Founders Series video. Today we have yet another amazing blockchain entrepreneur, Eric Gu, blockchain angel investor and the founder of Right BTC, an exchange that is fully operational and fully compliant, founded in 2016. Before that, Eric founded Metaverse. Thank you so much for joining us, Eric. Can you maybe share a few words about Metaverse? Uh, thank you very much and hello everyone. Um, this is Eric Gu. So Metaverse, I think this is my baby. Uh, Metaverse is a public blockchain, uh, just like Ethereum, uh, just like Bitshares or EOS, it's a public blockchain. Um, so we are an infrastructure layer blockchain, it's not application layer. So don't ask me of a decent, uh, decentralized application. So uh, Metaverse is a uh, a uh, public chain that focuses on asset digitization, so digital asset and di identity digitization, which is digital ID. And we also think uh, for all the transaction which needs to be done, we still need Oracle, meaning uh, the intermediary. And uh, later on, we can have smart contracts and decentralized application on top of uh, our, our Metaverse blockchain. So this is a Metaverse. Okay, so but if you said, don't talk to me about applications, then who is actually using Metaverse and how does it benefit them? So um, applications, so businesses will use Metaverse to build their decentralized application on top of Metaverse, which is a infrastructure layer uh, uh, block blockchain. So businesses, and uh, teams will build applications on top of our Metaverse blockchain. And their users will use our Metaverse blockchain. The aim of Lexa is to create a marketplace for M&A, mergers and acquisitions, and IP intellectual property. So basically it would be kind of creating an Airbnb where you can sell your company or parts of it or buy a company, buy IP, and you can also find all the experts you need in this process. And I think when we talk about IP, you have a very interesting project about tokenizing intellectual property. Can you tell us how you started working on this? Yeah, okay. Uh, intellectual property is very interesting because uh, how I start to work on intellectual property was at the beginning we thought that uh, uh, blockchain actually will uh, digitize lots of assets, existing physical assets. Um, maybe starting with either easy ones, say the uh, standard assets, let's say gold, silver, stocks, bonds, right? Those are standard assets. Those standard assets, let's say uh, one gram of gold is equivalent to the, the other gram of gold, same, same as uh, silver and crude oil, right? Those we call standard assets. That would be easy to just tokenize them, right? So this grand of token, and this grand of gold is one token, the other grand of gold is not a token. So tokenize them, it's easy. But there are a lot of non-standard assets, like let's say um, uh, paintings, right? So this, this painting and the other painting are not the same. Let's say I borrow this painting from you and I return the other one, then you, no, no, right? So those are non-standard uh, assets. Those are needs to be digitized as well. So intellectual property, also uh, non-standard uh, uh, assets. So to me, it's a challenge. To me, it's um, interesting or make me excited to, to think of uh, digitized uh, uh, intellectual properties. So my story of that is, let's say we ha I have a, a, a album of Michael Jackson's, like the early days uh, music, say, I want to digitize this uh, album. Let's say I will become the inter intermediary. I, I'm going to hold this album. And I say, I issue a million token against this, uh, this album. So each one of, of buyers of the token, you can own one million of this album. So this, we call it the uh, process of a digitized this intellectual property. And think about this, this will be so cool to do this, right? You said you would be the third party in this scenario, but is there any way to remove this third party? 
Yeah, thank you. That was a great question. See, every time people talk about blockchain, they say it's decentralized, no intermediary. But the, that example I gave you, I myself become that evil intermediary. So how to, how to decentralize, remove the intermediary, replace myself, the issuer of the token with smart contracts. So instead of myself, the, the, the owner of the IP, uh, intellectual property um, issuing token, let's, let's use smart contract to, you, to, to issue this token. And this smart contract can be multiple identities, multiple digital identities, let's say multiple party, and write a programmable way of issuing tokens, tokenized uh, intellectual property. That would be even sexier. <laughs> Very sexy indeed. And is it possible that metaverse plays a role in this? Yes, of course. See, uh, the reason I didn't mention metaverse for this example because uh, when you turn on TV set, you watch all those uh, commercials. You don't. You, you will see a lot of auto commercials, like cars, the fancy cars, sports cars, and successful men and pretty women. But you never see a commercial of highways. Am I right? So, That's what's true. metaverse? Metaverse is really that highway. So what are the fancy cars? The fancy cars are, are all the applications on top of this highway, right? So that's why Metaverse is playing a very important role, but we are not in the fancy commercial. <laughs> all right, I think that was a very good way to explain this, thank you. Um, maybe, uh, you know, before we conclude the interview, you could share with us your, your vision of the future of blockchain. Yes, I think everybody saw the power of blockchain last year, which namely ICO. So a lot of companies, they actually, they digitize their uh, goods and services, the future goods and services into token, right? It's very powerful. But this is just one tip of the iceberg that you see the, the, the power of blockchain. So this is, I call asset digitization version one. We will have asset digitization version two and three, but even more powerful is we, later on, we're gonna digitize all identities. Imagine everyone and every AIs, every organizations, and even every sensors will have a digital identity. And all the informations collected, all the data collected by AI, by those sensors are become assets. So this, and think about this, digital identity, digital asset, and those are all programmable. I think this blockchain gonna change, how the blockchain gonna change the world. It's gonna be great. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was an amazing conclusion. And I hope Metaverse can play a huge role in this. And I wish you all the best for your, for your future projects. And thank you so much for joining us to this interview. And thanks to our viewers for watching yet another episode of the Lexit Founders series. See you at the next one. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye.